effort to develop good character in kids, or more simply to teach children right from wrong. It assumes that right and wrong do exist, that there are objective moral standards that transcend time, culture, and individual choice, standards like respect, responsibility, honesty, and fairness, and that we should teach these directly to young people. Our virtue for the week is helpfulness, definition for helpfulness, assistance, usefulness, or to be useful or beneficial. And now a word from Mr. Coates. Crews member, our virtue for the week is helpfulness. We need everybody's help in making sure that this is a good um, week. Your cooperation in being helpful with your teachers and following directions. Your helpfulness in keeping our building clean is appreciated. Your helpfulness in making good decisions in terms of your performance each day is what we're looking for. So remember, your performance is, is important to us. We know you're the best, and we expect the best from you. When I've done talk shows, for example, people often call in and they say, aren't schools already struggling to teach reading and writing and arithmetic, and why should they add character education when they're already failing at what they're supposed to do? And the response to that is that character education, first of all, creates the environment for teaching and learning. Schools are much better places for academic learning when they are civil and caring communities. A second response is that the same quality of self-discipline that enables a child not to haul off and wallop another kid when it gets called a name, enables that youngster to apply himself to a task, to do his homework, to concentrate on what the teacher is saying, to pursue a distant goal. So that qualities of character really underlie personal achievement as well as personal relationships. They're fundamental to everything that, that human beings aspire to do. Kevin Ryan is 